What's up, everybody? We are back at it again. We are gonna go through a 90-90 with the bands. There's also a little row with extra rotation, whatever you wanna call it. Big thing is that we are getting our shoulders nice and stable. This is one of my favorite exercises for the shoulder, especially to get that stability, get everything moving. We're gonna go through a couple of the big key points with the movement before we actually go through it. So, from here, first motion is a row. Biggest goal is that I don't want elbows up too high. That's gonna activate those upper traps early, which we want to try and keep not active maybe a little bit at the end whenever we get our rotation, but I don't ever want those shoulders coming up to our ears. Should always be squeezing down and back through those shoulder blades, really trying to get our shoulders set, get the most out of those little rotator cuff muscles that are our shoulder stabilizers. Other thing is if you need to, you can vary that angle wherever you pull to. If you have problems with upper trap kicking up up here, you can row down here. That's perfectly acceptable. And then as you get better, as you get better at squeezing those shoulder blades, start raising those elbows up. Other key point is we want elbows to stay at 90 degrees. So if we're rowing here, I want elbows at that 90 degree mark right through there. If you're a little bit off, don't worry about it. Most common thing that I see is you're pulling towards your ears. That is not what I want. That's gonna be activating bicep. Bicep comes up, it is a shoulder stabilizer. If you have pain right here, you are overusing bicep to try and compensate for these little muscles not working well. So we need to get them back up. We need to get them working again. This is the exercise that will do it for you. This is a functional exercise. A lot of times you'll see people just going here with the bands. This doesn't really help you, especially if you're surfing, lifting, doing anything fun. If you're just doing it here, that's weird. So you gotta really make sure that you're strengthening through a functional range to get you back to the activities you wanna do, not just that normal everyday life that's down here. Okay? So taking the bands, we are gonna go through that little row with rotation. So a nice little pull, rotate. Again, shoulders aren't up here. I want shoulders to stay nice down and back. And then a little reset, coming back up. You can also vary the band height. If you're a little bit lower, that's okay. I like starting up a little bit higher with this one. It gives you a little better angle of pull that almost allows you to activate and squeeze those shoulder blades down and back to make sure that we're activating that. Versus if you're pulling from low, that initial first pull, you're gonna wanna use upper trap because you're getting that resistance going down. So having it up a little bit higher, you're gonna naturally kinda of wanna set those shoulder blades, help out a little bit more. Once you get really good, wanna start challenging yourself a little bit, you can lower that band down to where that pole is down. You gotta make sure that you're keeping everything down and back within those shoulder blades to really keep nice, stable shoulder blades. That is going to be the base that we're working off of. Then you can get all those little rotator cuff muscles working and back to their best. Really try and stay consistent with this exercise. It is one of my favorite ones. Really keep your shoulders healthy. Make sure that you can keep doing all those things that you like doing forever. Try it out. Hope you enjoy it. If you like this video, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel, like the video, comment below, let us know if there's any other videos that you like to do or what you like to do. If you like surfing, lifting, any of those things, Make sure you drop it in the comments. Let us know. Have a good one.